Good. Evening. This is Friday. Well, come to Rosie. Psych investigator. Rosie. Psych investigator. So, happy Friday. Yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh my god. Hello, hello, everybody. So, so guys, what's up, huh? What is up? What is up? John? I just remember, that was so fun. I see, I, I see someone with the name John. Are you around, John? I hear there's a message. No. So, so guys, okay, so a lot of news, huh? Today, there's always news. It's interesting because, because um, a lot of times, we think that the big news are, there's just a lot of side news that are kind of big, okay? It's just interesting to see how that is, you know? So, so I guess, you know, I see that you guys are talking about one of the news, which is about the mysterious case. I believe, guys, you know, this is the old case of Andrew Miller, okay? The guy who said, you know, who was, who was a, an associate of Roger Stone, who's, who said he does not want to testify. I believe that's that guy, okay? That's what I think. Okay, but let's see. Let's see if we, you know, because who knows? Who knows what is what is going on, okay? Because that's, it's been going on for a while. This isn't exactly news, okay? But we'll see. But the interesting thing, the interesting piece of information that came out was that the, the the attorneys from the Mueller's office who were there today, who the journalists saw, were A, uh, Deben, okay, and then B, the person, the woman, his name, her, it's a woman with an Arabic name. And so I wonder if, you know, it has something, who knows? It, I don't know, because I think she's like a terrorist specialist, okay, Middle East. So, so, uh, so it's interesting, okay? So... I don't think they would, you know, they would do pants. This is not the kind of thing that would they would risk put out publicly, okay? So, so we'll see. So, guys, I'm ready. Are you ready for, are you ready for information? Are you ready? Everybody, are you ready? So, <laughs> freak. So, okay. So, then, guys, no, seriously. Um, okay. Let me just, there's a lot of stuff, okay? Let me just go quickly here okay just go over the list very quickly so Pablo Dab I just thought it was so funny so Papadopoulos he wants to run for office yeah he wants to run. he said I'm going to run for office and I'm going to win yeah I will he said I thought it was so funny and then there was at the same day there's an article about from from a journalist saying that the FBI is investigating the claims that I don't know if you're familiar with this but but um that he Somebody reached out to journalists saying that they know that he, the Papadopoulos was in cahoots with the Russians. So, oh, really? You're going to run for office, huh? Yeah? Oh, good for him. And I think, guys, they are all, honestly, it looks like a lot of the work they have done and, and they, they they feel like they're going to continue to do for the for the future is to is to just be actors, you know, to kind of dis, disrupt, to create this anarchy, this pathetic anarchy that they, they do okay so let's see what i i always want to know because i feel that guy you know he's just such an idiot you know he's like i fooled everybody i got no jail sentence it's a, it's a mess it's ridiculous i could do whatever i want you know it's just like okay and then flint now this is not was not on the list but it was just very be very quick i you know it, i got it i was intrigued by by flint did you see that there was a flint filing where he said I, I was at White House and I had a meeting with, the, with people from FBI, including Peter Stroke, and they didn't tell me they were going to ask me uh, things that I had to say to be truthful. <laughs> they misled me. <laughs> and then today, Mueller was like, Bitch, you've been the head of intelligences? You've been working on this for 30 years. You don't know you have to, to tell the truth. Hmm? Hmm? So I don't know why. Why was that there? Okay. And then the big, I don't want to say it's a bombshell, but it's the news that Mick Mulvaney, it's, it's actually somebody I've never done a reading on, which would be interesting. Super corrupt as usual. Okay. So it's this guy who's the budget. 
He was the boss of the office man. Yeah. He is now going to be chief of staff. Yeah. Good for him. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay. I know. Now, this is, and I don't know if I'm going to get started with this, guys, because it's, it's almost the saddest. So I've kind of learned that in a way, the saddest is best to start, not leave it for the end, but just, it's, which is seven year old girl dies. Okay. Seven year old girl dies and, uh, of dehydration. And Kristen Nielsen said, well, <laughs> that's what happens when you enter this country illegally. Yeah. And guys, you know, honestly, to me, it's not just, it's not just that she would say something like this, okay, but that, I I mean, the question that I really struggle is like, are these people human? I mean, really, what makes someone, because I think I've asked this before, but I'm still, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, what is, what is how could somebody live with themselves, first of all? And then how, you know, what is that? I don't know. I really like to know, okay, because it, you know, when you say about that, okay, it's just so wrong on every level. Okay, I just, I, I don't understand. Okay, so it's just really, uh, you know, okay, so, so it's just like, um, yeah, Cynthia asked, which I'm seeing, at least I'm seeing here your, your post, okay. <clears throat> and then, of course, Jared, Jared, he, uh, he, he took over Michael Cohen's job, okay, in the connections with Packer, David Packer. So that means, did you see, guys, there was a while back, there was this magazine about Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Go to Saudi Arabia. And, uh, you know, all, all over. I remember the news about this. And then, of course, what happened before that? Jared. Jared was friends with David Packer. <gasps> what a coincidence. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> so it's just like, I want to know. Okay. Okay. And then, all right. So. Okay. So then here's the question. Now the question about the secret person, right? Let's find, find out what it is. And then, I mean, this might be too much. Okay, maybe for another time. There's a big article about how phase two of the Mueller investigation is going to be about uh, the Middle East. Okay, and then UAE, which is the place where, you know, where Dubai is. That's UAE. Okay. Saudi Arabia. Oh, really? Oh. Uh -huh. No way. Really? Huh. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> well, no. Really? Uh, hi, Michelle. Good to see you. Okay. So then Israel. Oh, really? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Really? No. <laughs> okay. And then did you see the article? I'm proud. I'm proud. So today came out that, that um, Ivanka was indeed over. Remember how I explained the thing to you guys, like how she overcharges? So it turns out that the woman, like I said, the Stephanie Wincuff, Wilson, Winston, whatever her name is, I got confused. She has two last names. It turns out that she was indeed, she was indeed telling the truth. Okay, so it, it's a recording that's, it's like the transcript is, oh, not transcript, it was an email exchange, I guess, that um, this woman, she was like ex emailing back and forth the guy, you know, the guy at the hotel. And the guy's like, oh, it's 175000 And she's like, what? Well, no, what about eighty five? And then in the end, of course, they paid more. Yeah, yeah. And then the money do, didn't go, you know, the money didn't add up. Why? Because part of it goes to my pocket. Yeah, yeah, it goes to pocket. Uh-huh, yeah. So, so anyway, so that's a good start, guys, okay? Let's get started. We we'll have a lot to discuss. Let's get started, guys. You know, it's so funny. I know, I know, uh, I know it's, uh, I kind of like talk, you know, sometimes I talk about trolls or people complaining. So, I there's somebody, somebody com left a comment the other day on my channel, and he, you know, he had a lot of nice comments at the very beginning. He's like, Rosie, you are a joke now. I can't take you seriously when you come out dressed like a Christmas tree. And I was like, well, that's the point. Yeah, that's the point of Christmas tree. But you know, guys, it's so interesting. You know, the whole thing, it's like, it's just like, you should go back to tarot because you'll at least you're kind of good at it. Huh. And uh, and I know, you know, it's interesting because there's a lot of people who prefer the traditional stuff, but I'm like, you know what? It's, it's like, in a way, it's like I know it's a niche. You know what I mean? But it's like, whatever. No, it is what it is. Here I am singing. Okay, singing. 
and whatever you know it is what you i mean it's okay right guys i think because it's about to have conversations we'll laugh a little because i mean i could not i could not talk about these things on a straight face you know like Kristen nielsen so depressing you know what i mean like oh like what are you gonna do like you're gonna cry then like literally like truly crying you know so anyway i just here i'm glad we have conversations friday night parties conversations so okay so guys okay how, how do we start huh uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay so but it's so funny because but don't you think it's hilarious that somebody's like you a joke now well don't you think the point of putting on no i'm going to go out there with the christmas tree dress and be serious are you laughing at me are you laughing at me? I'm a tree, okay? I'm a tree. So anyway, so okay, so guys, I'm just starting to think, what do I start with? You know, because it's a lot. You know, let's start with the hardest. Let's start with the hardest because then it gets lighter after that, okay? Let's start with the hardest with this seven-year-old girl who died. And the this monster, Christian Nilsson, was like, yeah. Well, that's what happens. When you will come to the US, yeah, you die. I don't care. <laughs> so obviously she doesn't care, right? So so okay, so so how okay, this is my question. Okay, how is is this woman human? What how can someone do how could somebody do I I really guys I do not understand. I don't understand. I really I don't understand. Like, okay, hi Patty, I'm just asking you starting. Okay, the first question, which is about uh Krista Nielsen, okay? How how is she human? That's the question. So is Krista Nielsen human? How can someone like that do that? Okay, guys, so, you know, this is interesting, and I've said, I think I've, I've done a reading, not a reading, but I've, I've addressed this topic before, and, you know, it, so it's interesting. So the answer is, hi, Diva, so I'm just answering, I just did a close my eyes about Kristen Nielsen asked, is she human? So now I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm going to close here just because I want to make sure that I say what I saw, okay, because it was quite interesting. So like I said, I had done, I've looked into this before, so, but this time, it, so, so the answer is not totally un, um, unfamiliar, but it's interesting. Okay, so it said that basically she does this work because she's committed to this idea of truly of the white supremacist thing, and also you know she she believes in that all those people in the Trump administration are not basically Nazis. Okay, they believe that there's this past era that was better, and they want to get rid of the past. I'm mean, sorry, get rid of the present and and build this this like utopia that they want to build. So she thinks that she's, she's doing the right thing, but what it shows what I thought was quite interesting was that it, I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks, not a few weeks, actually a few days ago, even right. I did this reading when one of you asked, I think it was, I don't remember who it was. might've been Corinne. I don't remember who it was. Something like, um, how is there, is there a God, you know, considering all the bad things that are happening, how could that be? And the, it was really interesting, right? It was this open ended question. And the answer was that humans are arrogant and we think that we know better whenever humans will decide something that is detached from the will of God, you know, the will of the will of the good, then it becomes all about rationalizing and dehumanizing. So this is exactly what she does. Okay. So she is all about, you know, how if any religious spiritual, anything, it's just it always says the separation and, and the ego are, are, analogous right and so that anybody who if you believe in separation if you believe that people are that we are against each other you know, just because the love is really all about connection it's about oneness and everything that is not about oneness then is about 
separation then there you go so it's exactly like that it's always about asserting someone over somebody else and it's always about um and, and this is what i think I, i'm going to say this this was the most interesting part of of this it showed that and this is true of all narcissists as well i don't know she, she may be a narcissist as well but it shows that people that have you know the the mindsets of these people okay the believe both who believe in these white supremacist ideas okay and are angry in general is that uh, i've talked about this about you know in terms of trump okay so you have a negative emotion and those people cannot stand negative emotions okay so what they do is that they externalize the negative emotion so for example right let's say uh, uh, somebody who is in a small town somewhere who has never met an immigrant and says oh, i hate immigrants they took my job so they they really don't want to think that it was the company that didn't want to spend money on their salaries or the benefits whatever it was and had to close the factory and the salaries a little whatever so then it's like well let me instead of feeling this negative feeling i can externalize it into someone else okay i can say that the negative feeling is is someone who it's someone's fault and i can point to that person and the moment i point to that person i feel better i feel so much better so as long as there is a scapegoat i feel okay because i don't have to deal with the pain okay so this is how it this is how it explains okay so how it goes is that there always has to be a scapegoat and and the scape, scapegoat in this case is an immigrant okay so this is how she doesn't and and she said that she doesn't like going there she doesn't like to feel that they're very human okay which is like the nazi idea anyways right it's like oh let me just see them as things you know as cattle or whatever you know honestly right it's like she's not really concerned with you know seeing them as human or presenting them as human because it's always about having the scapegoat and this is it explains also you know how like they always the the, the wise of are about some little jokes like oh yeah so <laughs> you know it's it's always like the sly smile and the thing over because it's the thing that must always ha what must always happen is a scapegoat there has to be the external as in this is how they justify and it's saying here though that it's interesting and I, this is also but from like spiritual studies or whatever that the way we're in this I'm not saying that we're here to to experience pain, but we're here to grow, and we only really grow when we examine the painful experience and transform it. So, so it shows that those people they never want to grow. They really are so afraid of the of. Ironically, they're so afraid of the of pain that they always can, they they do everything they can to try to hide from it because they're basically weak. Okay, weak people. So, so this is it. Okay, so this is explanations about her okay so the other question i have well, guys i'm not even reading the comments i'm going to read shortly as soon as i'm finished here but with this question so what about, is chris can people like chris nielsen be saved quote unquote not saved i mean not that they will be absorbed i mean absolved of their guilt I and mean, in what they you know the things they've done but can they ever learn to see the humanity in others It shows guys that only in downfall, okay, only when they have a serious downfall, do they experience the pain of shame or feeling like they were fooled. And that's when they, you know, something, because people don't change in, in they only change through pain again. So unless they are this highly disappointed, that's when they feel, and, and guys, you know, what's so interesting and I'm seeing here, what's actually quite ironic is that the disappointment they're going to suffer through Trump, understanding that he was just a, you know, a traitor to them and to every, you know, to all these things is that, you know, and then the economy is going to get worse. Everything's going to get worse for them after he leaves is that ironically, because of this disappointment that they're forced to look around. Okay. And there, there's going, there, there is a reason, you know, they have to face their resentment and all those things. So, so this is interesting. So, so that's that guys. Okay. So, so yeah. So this is interesting. Okay. So, um, yeah, so it's just kind of, wow, that was kind of interesting. Okay. So not just for everybody guys. Okay. So everybody. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, what's going to happen to, I've said, you know, guys, I've seen before just a little fresher, but I see that in the, her whole life, she's going to pay for this. She's going to have to hide, you know, her identity, whatever. What's going to happen to Kristen Nielsen after Trump leaves. So.
guys, you know, I, I don't know. It, I almost feel like she could be sent to the Hague or something. Okay. I feel like it's a crime against humanity, whatever you call it. Right. I don't know if this is it because they're going to look into everything that happened in these camps. We're going to find out a lot more information. So there's going to be all these hearings, but I see her in some sort of like some sort of prison outfit, but not American prison. Okay. They're going to have to find out what it is that, you know, it's like, they're going to find out everything, you know, how come they, how they organize these camps, who was responsible for it, how many people died, what, you know, all these things. So I feel like it's possible, okay, that she, because I still see her, you know, for me, it does look like some sort of a Hague. I don't think that, I don't think that it's, uh, you know, if indivisible, let's, you know, let's stick to the schedule, okay, just for now, because like I said, I, there's a lot and I don't want to, you know, just for now, okay? So I've said Steve Miller is different, okay? Steve Miller is different because he's, he works within the White House. And it's just a, a whole other day, okay? Let's just, I'm going to put it here, but another day, not now, okay? So let's just focus here because, like I said, you know, I've, I've explained before, you know, what happens with visions is that I, I explain what I see. So if I don't explain it, it's not there. I don't see in my vision Steve Miller. So... So it's like next time it's like I can ask about him. Okay. So I can't, it doesn't, you know what I mean? So, so that's it. Okay. Sorry. So anyway, so, so next, uh, like I was saying, I see her in some sort of like, there's going to be her whole life. She's going to be, become the face of this new era of, uh, what is it called? You know, Nazi, whatever you call it. What is it? White supremacist or fascism. Okay. So it's just going to be just like we had, I'm not going to say that she's like mangly because obviously I don't, I mean, it's as awful as it is, it's not quite on that scale, but you know, she's going to be one of the iconic people who are responsible for the American concentration camps. Okay. So, so that's her legacy and she's going to have to spend all of her time having to respond to this and, and, you know, not having, I don't think she's going to have money because all the money, if she has any, is going to be spent on lawyers. Okay. So, Okay. And I don't think, guys, I don't think she's going to repent. No, I don't think she's going to be like, oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. No, it's like, you know, because it's so obvious, right? What is she? The, right now, the era that we live, you know, there's so much, so many recorded interviews. What is she going to say? So, okay. Okay, so next. Okay, so. Wow, this is interesting, guys. Okay, so, but on but honestly, guys, you know, we'll. This is why I feel like um, indivisible. If you know, let, add it. We'll connect it to the list. Okay, so, so, but then next, you know, next time we we do just because I I have to stick to this. Okay, okay. So, well, guys, you know, it's like I was thinking about it. I was thinking of like how each time I look at the news, it's even more disgusting. It's so disgusting to have. It's it's really disgusting. Okay, so. So, um, so anyway, so it's just like really disgusting. And, but then I was thinking, you know what it is, is that right now we're seeing these things that have happened, always happened, but we don't see it. We never saw it before. So, so you know what I mean? So this is what I think is, is what we have to remember that it is painful, but it is painful because we didn't know about this before and this is coming out. So this is the only way to heal. You know what I mean? If we wanted to just be like, Oh, let's look at uh gardening magazine or whatever you know it's not how it is so we just have to we're confronted with this and this is the only way that we can grow okay like you know what i mean we can we have to see what's going on. okay all right so interesting all right so then okay i just 